Hi everyone. So another rainy weekend in Europe. So this weekend, to keep our kids entertained, we're making marionettes. So they're very simple, very easy to make. Um, kids love these. Hours of play out of these guys. And they're also great if you need a last minute birthday or Christmas gift, because you can whip these up in just a few minutes. And yeah, like I say, always a winner with kids. So join me and I'll show you how to make these. So this project is super simple. You need cardboard for your template. You're going to need yarn. You'll need your sticks. It can be dial sticks, reeds, whatever you've got around. You need some fishing line or some thread. And then you'll need something to make your neck and your legs out of, like a shoelace or boa. You'll obviously need your, your gooky eyes, some cardboard for the beak, and a glue gun and some scissors. So you'll see there, there's a basic template for you to look at. And then um, whichever yarn you like to use, it's up to you. But like I said before, the fluffier the better. So if you just watch this beginning bit of the tutorial, you'll see how to make these pom-poms super fast, super easy. I do have a, a more in-depth tutorial if you need to look at it. Um, but if you just continue watching, I'm sure you'll understand how, how to make these. I like to use a really thin elastic to tie my pom-poms together with. This is entirely a personal preference thing. Um, you can, of course, just use the yarn that you use to make your pom-pom. So it's really important to tie the second knot around your pom-pom before you cut the strands. Um, this just helps to hold the whole pom-pom together. For the body of the marionette, um, you're going to make a much bigger pom-pom. You can of course use the same size template and cut your first pom-pom smaller. It's entirely up to you, but I like to use two different size templates to make a bigger and a smaller pom-pom. entirely a personal choice thing is the beak shape. Um, I've given you a basic triangle that I then bend down the middle to create, get a bit of a 3D thing happening on the beak but this is also like I say it's up to you. I used a scrap of um, and from an egg box because it was already colored yellow but if you've got yellow scrap paper or maybe just take a scrap out of a magazine and glue it down if you don't feel like coloring in the beak um, it's just another nice easy way to do some recycling.
have some felt feet left over from a previous project, so I've used that on this marionette. Um, but on the second marionette that we made, we made the feet out of um, two scraps of cardboard, which I actually think worked much better than these felt feet. For the sticks that you use to glue your puppet onto, or tie the strings onto, should I say? I prefer to make get my reeds a bit longer than necessary, and then glue the puppet on, put all the strings on as where they want to be, and then trim the sticks down to size. Because there's nothing worse than making a puppet and then being limited, its movement limited by the length of the sticks. So try it this way around to start with until you're used to making marionettes and then you'll know what size, what length sticks work for you. my little dodgy hand sketching here um, I just wanted to illustrate how the strings attach so your head and your body string attach to the long part of the cross and then the feet attach to either side of the shorter part of the cross So when it comes to attaching your puppet to the actual stick, it really helps if you've got somebody to hold the cross for you. Otherwise you can make a plan just using a little side table um, while you tie your strings on. And the other thing to remember is that the string from the feet needs to be glued to the center of the foot, not to where the ankle goes, um, because that changes how the foot moves. 
Well, I used quite thick fishing line, which affected the way my puppet walked. So I recommend using a much thinner line or maybe even just a nice thickish thread to tie your puppet up with rather than a stiff thick fishing line. Then I'd stuck a little piece of paper over where I glued the fishing line onto the foot. It just makes it look neater and also makes it a little bit more secure. So I hope you've enjoyed today's marionette tutorial. Um, as always, please subscribe to my channel and please click on the like button. Thanks so much for watching. Thank you.